So uh, Parkinson disease is a progressive disorder. It's a neurodegenerative disease. Although the symptoms usually begin with tremor, slowness, rigidity, over time, some patients develop certain other symptoms, and one of them is psychosis. Psychosis in Parkinson's disease is a group of symptoms that can occur in an individual. Initially, the patient may be aware of what's going on, but they may not talk to anyone, but later on the patient may not be aware of. When we talk about PD psychosis, we usually refer to as some patient feeling someone else is in the room when they are not there. They feel someone is watching them when no one is. They may actually see people that are not there, visual hallucinations. They may hear things that are not there. Or they may have delusions, basically believing things that may not be true. So the patient could have any of these issues, a false sense of presence, hallucinations, delusions, paranoia. These symptoms usually occur in a setting of a patient with Parkinson's disease. The patient may or may not recognize that this is happening to them. This may or may not occur in patients who have cognitive impairment. And usually there are no other causes. In other words, patients have not been started on any medications that could cause similar symptoms. Patients are not undergoing an infection that could make them have these symptoms. Patients have not overdosed on their medications. So these are some of the other issues that are related to PD psychosis. But in short, anyone who has a history of Parkinson's disease develops any of these psychotic symptoms which are present for at least a month or longer would be considered to have PD psychosis. So uh, PD psychosis can occur due to the Parkinson's medications or other medications that they're taking, but more often they occur due to the underlying disease pathology that is occurring. Once a patient develops PD psychosis, we often try to reduce or eliminate some of their medications because pretty much all the Parkinson's medications can cause psychosis. The challenge with that often happens is that as we decrease their medications, their Parkinson's symptoms get worse. So you get to a point where further reduction in medications is going to make significant worsening of their Parkinson state. Presently, there is no approved medication for PD psychosis. What we use for the treatment of PD psychosis are other medications which are used for schizophrenia. The challenge behind using medications for schizophrenia is schizophrenia is a disorder of dopaminergic issues too. So in schizophrenia, we're actually trying to block the dopamine that is there in our patients. In Parkinson's patients, they already have reduced dopamine. So trying to act on drugs that are going to affect the dopamine also results in worsening of the Parkinson's. So technically we have to find that antipsychotic which kind of balances the part between not worsening the Parkinsonian state but at the same time helping with the psychosis. The challenge again is that one, there is none of them have been well studied in Parkinson's psychosis. Majority of them actually worsen the Parkinson's part. The only antipsychotic which has shown to be beneficial for PD psychosis is clozapine. The challenge with clozapine has its own set of issues related to closer monitoring, toxicity, increased mortality in older patients, especially with dementia. Using the other antipsychotics like quetiapine, resperdone, etc., have much more likelihood of worsening the Parkinson's and the improvement is even less than we see with clozapine. But at times we end up at a stage that to keep the patient at home, keep them not be, uh, not have the psychosis that they could hurt themselves, we have to use these medications off-label with the resultant risks that are associated with it. These symptoms often can be very similar to a patient who has schizophrenia, except like I said, they occur with a patient having Parkinson's disease, usually present for a few years before they develop these symptoms. There are some other changes or differences that occur with PD psychosis. In schizophrenia, often the patient hears things. The auditory hallucinations are most common. In Parkinson's, it's usually the visual which are much more common. And the one that often patients describe are little people coming out of woodwork. That's one of the typical ones. Not that they cannot see 
uh, insects or bugs or spots or other things but that's one of the the common one that they they actually talk about from that part and often in Parkinson's the the hallucinations go through a period initially they occur infrequently then the hallucinations get worse much more obvious the patients may or may not have delusions or paranoia along with it but also patients who are had Parkinson's for a long period of time, patients who are elderly, patients uh, who have some degree of cognitive impairment, patients who often don't have much tremor are the ones who are going to develop PD psychosis. So there are also other risk factors associated with PD psychosis, but, but different things that you would diagnose them as schizophrenia versus PD psychosis.